So this is the first optimization problem we're looking at, and what we want to do is we want to fit the biggest possible square that we can uh, in that's inside of a circle. So let's just draw it like this. Um, let's pretend that's an actual square. And so what we should do here is let's just set up, um, make sure that, just to get our head straight, let's put a coordinate axis here, like that. We'll put it right through the middle. This is x. This is y. All right. So now what we have, as you can see, the the square and the circle are related. Um, if you look at this, uh, we can we could draw a line here and make a triangle, right? So we would have this is the x component, this is the y component, and this is the radius of the circle. And this point out here, this uh, they both share this point. This will be point x y. So. First of all, the area of the square where we can calculate to be its base times height, and the base is 2x times the height is 2y. Two, oops, 2y. Uh, so we can also say the area is 4xy. Now, the other thing that we need to see is um, we need to connect the circle to the square. So we'll use Pythagoras to connect x, y, and r. So if we get that, if we get that, it's x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to r squared. And then what we can do is we want to get we want to get rid of one of these variables. So if we set it up like this, um, we can put y in terms of x and r. So uh, we would write. Like this, we can just rearrange. We could have y is equal to y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. Uh, x squared. There we go. Uh, and so y would be equal to um, square root of r squared minus x squared. And area can't be negative in this situation, so uh, we will just have it will just be positive. So now if we want to rearrange this uh, original equation here for the area of our square, um, we could write it like this now. We know that what, this is y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. So we can write it like this. Area is equal to 4x times 4x times y, and y was the square root of r squared minus x squared. Now what we want to do is we want to differentiate this um, and if we do want to, like what we can look at it is like this. We'll have two parts. This can be u and v and we'll use the product rule. So when we differentiate it will be, remember, u prime v plus u v prime. So when we differentiate it we'll get uh, we'll get dA dx and it will be equal to, what do we have, u prime uh, u prime v plus u v prime. So that will give us 4 times, right, the uh, derivative of 4x is 4 times uh, v, which is just not going to change. It will be r squared minus x squared plus 4x, right, plus u times v prime, which is going to be uh, 4x times negative x times r squared minus x squared x squared to the power of negative one half and we will set that all to zero so now if we want to rearrange that we can write uh, four times root r squared minus x squared is equal to let's just clean this up a little bit um, is equal to 4x squared and this is going to be over root r squared minus x squared minus x squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 4 and multiply both sides by root r squared uh, minus x squared to rearrange this and we'll end up with uh, root r squared minus x squared and that will all be squared because we're multiplying this one over to here and this will be equal to 4x squared 
over 4. And then right away we can simplify to get r squared minus x squared is equal to x squared. Or we could keep going, we'll get r squared is equal to 2x squared. Um, so x squared is going to be equal, oh, sorry, x squared is going to be equal to r squared over 2, or x uh, will be equal to r over root 2. Okay, and so remember, we're trying to find the area of the square. So now we have the x component for this part. Now we want to find y. So we're just going to substitute x back into what we know for y. I always change color so we don't get lost. Um, we know that y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared, right? That just, can, that just comes down from there. So we'll substitute in our value for x squared we'll get y is equal to square root of r squared minus, oops, minus r over uh, root 2, and this is all squared. Now we can write that as the square root, I'm sorry, this is still the square root, um, of r squared minus, in brackets, r squared over 2, or 1 half r squared if you want to think of it that way. Um, which would give us y is equal to uh, the square root of r squared over 2, or 1 half r squared. So there we have it. Uh, y, um, oh, and actually we can take this one step further. Actually we can say that y is equal to r over root 2. So now what we want to do is we just want to bring this back. Uh, we want to take this x value and this y value. These are the values that we need to find the area of our uh, of our square inside the circle of some known or some given value of r. Um, so we'll just switch colors one last time, and we'll go back to our original formula where we had it was a is equal to four x y. So we have area is equal to four times r over root 2 times r over root 2, which is the same thing as saying, um, let's say, area is equal to 4 times r squared over 2, Oops, r squared over 2, or the area of our square inside the circle with the radius r is going to be uh, 2 times the radius squared. That is the biggest possible square that we can fit inside of a circle.